So we are starting with a view object that has a parameter and we're going to use that parameter and invoke it in our task flow. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new task flow and this is going to be a bounded task flow but use a normal set of pages. I'm going to give it a name. Okay, so this is not page fragments but complete pages in this instance. Now the first thing that we'll want to do in our task flow is actually invoke the execute with parameter method for the view object. Right, so we're going to scroll down, take the method and bring it into our task flow. This method expects a parameter, which would be the department ID, and we're going to pass it on a page flow scope. So we're going to pick a page flow scope and just give it a name. So in this case we'll just call it depth ID. And we're going to copy this because we're going to need this later on. Right, the next thing in our task flow would be to actually have a page that displays the information and of course we want to connect the two with a flow. Let's actually create the page and in the page we're just going to show the view object we're actually going to use uh, not just the view we're going to show a master detail relationship for this view object so both the department and the employees in the specific department so we're going to drag it over do a quick master detail and that would be enough for that one. Right, one more thing that we need to set are actually two things on the task flow. If we double click on it, right, and go into the properties of the task flow, we'll have an area here for parameters that we can pass to the task flow. So we're going to define a new one. Again, give it a name to the parameter, give it a type, which in our case it's just a simple string. And in the value, we're going to actually um, just paste the page flow scope variable that we defined. Right? So this is going to be this one, the depth ID in a page flow scope. The other very important thing is to mark this task flow as URL allowed, okay? which means that we can actually call these task flows directly by specifying a URL. Now we can save everything and we can actually go to the task flow and click and choose run. When we do that, we'll get prompted for a parameter value for our task flow. We're going to uh, put in 20, so we'll basically try and access department 20. And when the page comes up, we indeed see department 20, no other departments are showing up. Right, we can actually go to the URL now, and if we actually scroll to the end, we'll find the place where there is the value. We can remove everything after that, and we can change it to another department, so let's say department 50 click on it and then we get a page that displays department 50 with the employees for department 50. You can also find out the URL for this thing directly from the log window. This is the, actually the URL and you can see the parameter in there so just copy and paste it and use it wherever you need it.